So what I usually do when I'm doing these top ends on these engines is I set it top dead centre on the timing marks here. Then I pull this off carefully. It's magnetic so it's, it takes a little bit to get off. Try and leave that pin in there so it holds the starter gear in. Just check your marks again, you can check there, and you can also check there at the top. This is spot on. So what I do is I jam a chisel in there. I usually put some tissue around it just to stop it from damaging the floor wheel but I forgot to then. So that just locks that in place then. So you've got less to worry about. And then you can remove the top off. So I'm just going to do that now. Twelve millimeter nut. So make sure you make note of your decompressor. But it's pretty easy to put back anyway, so just pull it free. Try and loosen the chain a bit. On there, pretty tight. Don't give you much room to do all this, lot, but so that's your gear off with your decompression weight, and then just keep the tension on the chain. If it falls down, it will come off the bottom. Put a timing gear, and you'll get lost in the bottom end, so you don't really want to drop it. So keep it tight. And then we're going to take the head off now. And we carry on taking this head off. We've already pulled these two Allen, uh, Allen key bolts out. There is a specific order in which to undo these bolts, but I'm just going to do them di diagonally opposite. If I was you, I'd follow the book though. These are pretty long bolts, as you can see, but they have got washers in with them. So make sure you remove them all with the washers. And that is it, it should be loose now. So you've got to try and lift it, but keep this timing chain tight, otherwise it drops off the bottom gear and it's a pain getting it back. So. So there you go, that's the head off. So, oh, I thought I'd drop the chain there, but I ain't. So there's the head, the valves. And that is it, barrel next, but that's it for that video. Okay, so I'm going to put the timing gear back on at the top. It's all locked solid down there still from the chisel, so no movement there. This can be a bit awkward, but it's not too difficult. That's what I usually do is set this gear in the centre so it's out of the way. Get your timing mark at the top. Like that, and try and just get one on, one tooth on. So I'm not in my usual position doing this, so it's a bit awkward. Get 
You have to keep this chain tight. And when you're in it, when you're in, put your decompression lever in there. So a quick check, make sure it's in line. Do you not up? Then just make sure your bottom hasn't moved which has slightly but only very slightly and the top end's perfect so that's all in time now can be a bit awkward but you get used to it <laughs> 